Coco Store. Right there. The other one, the French toast. The other yeah, one. no, we're missing the French toast. Who ordered that? She's gonna go be a Karen. They're clowning me for my outfit today, but what can I do when my cousin was doing my laundry? She was supposed to wash my clothes with her uh, clothes. And uh, she asked, I uh, let her wash my uh, clothes. Uh, and then I don't she hear. lets it sit for a day and my clothes are wet. I'm gonna change out this shirt. I'm gonna change it out for a black shirt. I'm just wearing it for now because I have nothing to wear in my hometown closet. All my clothes are at college. And then these mom jeans will be, these capris essentially, will be switched out to some long wide leg pants. Don't you worry. The fact that I'm wearing glasses today is because I left all my contacts at school. So I have to really pick and choose when I can wear my contacts and when I'm gonna sacrifice and wear my glasses, unfortunately. But today we're going to my uncle's house. I'm really excited. Just gonna be a family day. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, and then the day after is Christmas Day. So I ended up changing. I switched out the scarf for this brown scarf, and I'm just gonna wear this top because I feel like it's warm enough that I could get away with it. Also, we're gonna be indoors. Look at these narcissists. That's my phone. What are you doing? Let go, I wanna show my fit. Okay, so edges are on fleek. And oh, I said I want to come for my so outfit. So I said I want to come for my outfit because I'm wearing a black jacket, some dad jeans, and I'm gonna wear my Converse. Like casual fit. Like I'm not over here looking like a hooligan like she is. Like what? Hooligan? Yes. Hooligan how? Hooligan and you got how? Rick over here. Rick over here has been silent. <laughs> See through. Stuck for the law. What? <laughs> She's wearing a wife beater too. <laughs> You have to come by, you need to be here for Yeah, I know. It's here. We don't have seven. Hey, wait. We don't have seven. Well, that's a good one. Christmas is finally over. Today my cousin and I pretty much have been having a lazy day. We spent the whole day watching Harry Potter. It was our first time watching Harry Potter. I can't believe this Miss Girl has never seen the Harry Potter movies. So we watched Deathly Hallows part two and I posted on my Instagram asking you guys what your guys' favorite Harry Potter movie is because I was curious. I feel like growing up my favorite was Deathly Hallows part two, but now my favorite is the Half-Blood Prince. Something about that scene where Dumbledore dies and they're all standing with their wands in the air just gets me every time. My cousin said her favorite movie is Goblet of Fire. Was a little surprised by that one because that one was my least favorite one growing up. And based on the responses, pretty much everyone saying Prisoner of Azkaban. One person said Goblet of Fire. Another person said Deathly Hallows. But the majority of you guys are saying Prisoner of Azkaban, which is also another interesting one. That one always just feels like a loop whenever I watch it because it, it literally is a loop at the end of it. But I can see why that one is your guys' favorites. Harry Potter to me is just my winter tradition. Every winter break, we rewatch the Harry Potter movies. When I think of winter break, I think of Harry Potter. Cordy and I are gonna go to the Spectrum. She wants to do some shopping. And honestly, I feel like nothing is better than going to the Spectrum at night, especially with the holidays. I hope they still have their tree up, even though it's the day after Christmas. I doubt they've taken it down, honestly, this quick. I think they keep it until like right before New Year's. The way it took us 20 minutes to find parking, is criminal, but we made it. We found a parking spot in this parking garage. Now we're headed to inspection. Now she's gonna do some damage. Literally, this girl is shopping so much that she has to ship stuff home. Today we are going to Big Bear. I'm ready to live out my winter wonderland. 
fantasy. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a turtleneck underneath this and then on top I'm gonna put my brown puffer because I'm not trying to freeze. I also did some light makeup this morning. We're not doing anything crazy. I know people in California when they go up to Big Bear they like to get a cabin and stay for a couple days. My family can only take cold weather in very very small doses so we're just gonna drive up for the day, spend a couple hours, probably go to Big Bear Village take pictures and dip. We're gonna go to my uncle's house cause he lives closer to Big Bear Mountain. And we might stop by his pokey shop today if we have time. I'm not a huge fan of pokey, but one thing I love is lemon shark pokey. Currently waiting on my sister and my cousin to finish getting ready and then we're gonna head out. I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know I got this puffer from Pretty Little Thing last spring And it is massive There's a lot of room It's actually good if you want something to layer a lot But I don't live on the east coast so I don't need that So pro tip if you're ever shopping on Pretty Little Thing Definitely size down on everything Because this is a large, it fits like a 2XL to be honest but I mean, it's good for today because I'm gonna need like the extra room. This is the best day ever. It is Hi. the best day ever. Uh, we're going to the Big Bear, which is above Highwind. Anyway, this video is taking the Highwind. Big Bear and big disappointment because there is no snow. He really did not see this one coming. Quite literally, it's just like a normal cold day, but we're starting to stop at a gas station to see if we can find restaurants at least, and then we're gonna look for some snow. Bruh, this is the most snow we've seen. Pray for me, I have to go use a porta potty. I'm just making dua going in. Object for that. Oh, here! So much snow. On our way back, but we stopped to see a little bit of snow. This is what we see. Honestly, we just got really unlucky because I think a few days ago it was actually snowing and last night it rained. It probably warmed up a little bit, so. But he is not even getting out of the car. <laughs> That's ice, not snow. Don't throw it. guys to record my first episode of season two of disclaimers aside i've been recording interviews with people over winter break so far i got to record a podcast episode with isitu and lula about their brand lulita i recorded a podcast episode with my cousin hodia and then i'm also going to be recording a podcast episode 
January 2nd with my two friends who are starting a clothing brand called Pash Mom. If you guys haven't followed it on Instagram, I don't think I've talked about it in the vlogs just yet because it hasn't launched yet, but they have launched their Instagram. It's Pash Mom Designs and I'll have the link to their Instagram in the description box. I'm so excited. My friend Sophia is starting a Iranian clothing brand and I'm so excited for it to drop. I've already kind of like seen the samples and it's, it's gonna be sick. You guys don't wanna miss their first launch. So I'm gonna be recording a podcast episode with them on January 2nd. Basically, since I'm at home for winter break, it's a lot easier for me to record podcasts at home because I have my own room, my own space. I've been trying to record as many interviews as possible so then throughout the year I can just release them. But I need to record the first episode of season two, which is going to be a solo episode. And I already kind of outlined the structure of the episode. Right now, I just need to put together some talking points for the cover design. Basically, I commissioned an artist to do the new cover art for season two. And so I just wanna get all of the information about her company and her site so that I can share it with you guys just in case you guys are looking to A, support or get your own art commissioned by her by any chance. So I need to put that together and then record. It's gonna be a fairly short episode. I like to keep the first opening episodes pretty short, so I'm anticipating that it won't be anything longer than 20, 25 minutes. It's the day before New Year's Eve. My mom always hosts New Year's Eve, which is really fun. She invites like a couple of families over. And honestly, New Year's Eve is like just eating good food and then watching movies an endless amount of movies like a movie marathon until the ball drops at midnight because this episode is going live on the first which is in two days and tomorrow i'm going to be really busy i think i'm just going to try and outline record and then post the episode like schedule it to go live on january 1st or actually it's going live tomorrow the way i just fully missed the dates I upload bi-weekly episodes on Saturdays and the first is technically on Sunday. I want to keep to the schedule so even though tomorrow's the 31st, I'm gonna have the episode launch tomorrow morning. So the turnaround time has to be quick for this. commissioned Tatiana from French 75 Studios to do the podcast art and this is like some of her work that she currently has. It's definitely very like sketch based which I thought was really cool. I really like the art style of it. So this is her site that you guys can check out. I would also recommend checking out her Instagram. She was really really nice um, and really cool to work with because she was definitely open to hearing my feedback which I definitely appreciated. I also just love the fact that I could support a black artist and in a lot of her work she features black individuals. I remember I saw this design I really liked just like the style of it but check her out. Her artwork is really really cool. In this episode I'm also going to be sharing my 2023 intentions. I say intentions because I feel like New Year's resolutions just has a weird connotation to it. The other day I sat down for like an hour just like reflecting on 2022 and thinking about kind of like what I want for 2023 and surprisingly I had a lot of intention, intentions and a lot of things that I want to focus on next year. I'm not going to share all of these because I feel like with intentions for the year you want them to be deeply personal or they can tend to be deeply personal but I'm going to try and share as much as I can in the podcast. So if you're curious about my 2023 intentions listen to disclaimers aside. Also comment down below, what are some of the things that you guys are setting as your New Year's intention slash what are things that you have on your vision board? I feel like it's so much fun to have a vision board. I like to make mine on Pinterest. I just make like a Pinterest board. I feel like that's the easiest thing to do. And Pinterest these days has so many, so many images. So it can be really fun. You don't have to wait until January 1st to do this. And you don't have to do this right away. You can literally do this at any point in the year. Seriously, if February hits and you realize that you want to sit down and set some goals or intentions for the year, it's not too late. <laughs>
finished recording. I'm going to go edit this right now. I record, by the way, I think I've shared this like in a past episode, but I record using the Blue Yeti mic and I record on my MacBook using voice memos. And then I edit everything on Final Cut Pro. You don't really need Final Cut Pro. I just have it for YouTube. So that's where I kind of edit my podcast. And then I upload using Anchor and everything's really seamless to be honest i haven't had any issues with anchor so we'll continue using them with the new year but i'm gonna go edit this probably have lunch and we'll see if i have some time to do some reading because i feel like i haven't been doing that much reading happy new year's eve i was just filming a get ready with me for tiktok which is why i didn't like film the get ready with me process for the vlog this is the final makeup look for the night i kind of went for more of a simple makeup look like a very Tone down soft glam. I'm trying to decide which top I want to wear tonight. Most likely this one or this one. This top is like a top that I wore for Thanksgiving a few years back and I don't even know if it still fits. I also have these two options if none of these work out but I'm most likely gonna wear that top. Truly the struggle of picking a cute outfit out with your high school closet is real. So I actually ended up going with the white top because I kind of wanted to wear these pearl earrings, that earrings that I borrowed from my mom. And I figured they would go nicely with the white top. I'm wearing my black jeans from Comnon, the black wide leg ones. They're super high-waisted, really comfortable. Going for kind of like a black, white, gray, neutral look. flavor you heard it here first you ruined my aesthetic shot stop <laughs> stop that these are also so good we're in the diamond jamboree in irvine we're gonna go to hot pot for dinner and there's like a karaoke place that i've always wanted to go to i'm probably gonna go for an hour because it's like 42 dollars an hour so we're just gonna the four of us are gonna split the cost but it's gonna be really fun. I've always wanted to go because my friends have gone before and my sister's also gone before. But right now, we're going to H Mart real quick. This is actually my first time coming to the Diamond Jamboree, surprisingly. My mom always comes here when she's shopping for like ingredients to make African foods. She's already been here before and she's giving us miso. Nobody wants miso. She wants to give us flavored water. Miso is good. Like, just like, cares. You guys are literally so annoying. Like, also guys, huh? this never happens, but Hadi was here with us. I can't believe you. <laughs> this never happens, guys. Yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, this is Cody's last day in California. How has your stay been? It's been pretty fun. Better than last time. Because your brother's not here. How do I order the meat? Anyways, so we're at this Korean barbecue place, or it's just like hot pot in general, and I think they're gonna put everything yes. here on this little stove. Oh, thank you. But this place is really cool, actually.
girl, it's called Kiri. And we can't.